Make a fantastic art. So on today's painting, I tried the half bloom on the white background and I really wanted to see what did it look like on a dark background? Did you lose anything? Um, and so in order to do that, I chose some really vibrant, fiery type colors. So we've got some gold and some copper and some red and some yellow. Um, and we're doing the half bloom again. So there's a stem at the bottom. It's on a dark um, uh, Payne's Gray background, Amsterdam's Payne's Gray. And I think overall, you're gonna really find it interesting. So come on this journey with me. Let's get okay. started. So we're gonna take that same approach. Obviously I'm over here, so I'm doing the flower this direction but I'd like it to be a lot more vibrant um, in terms of like a red. I wanna see that. Um, so what we're gonna be working with is, uh, this is a crimson red. This is the Color Art Pigment Candy Apple Red. And um, I actually also have, I can't even describe what it is. It's a copper burgundy mix. So I took a burgundy, that's the color, and put copper into it. So it had more of a, a red feel. And we're gonna use that color. Um, I have a splendid gold from PBO. And I actually have a couple other really, probably unique, interesting colors. So this is the metallic brown from Arteza. Sorry, I was shaking it in front of you. Um, but it looks like that, a metallic, or iridescent, sorry, brown. And then this is actually a pouring color from um, Color Art. So this was in the special for uh, the autumn. So this right here is Golden Poppy. And I thought that if we stayed in this range and had some green accents, that that would be really pretty. Um, we are going to use the Pineapple Crush color art also, pigment mixed up here. So we're going to find out <laughs> what this is going to amount to. So to get started again, we are going to take kind of the, well that looks like red. That's not mixed in the tip there. So we're going to take the approach where we're kind of blooming it out from a side. Um, yeah, you can see what I just saw as well, where we just got a a little piece of dried paint in there. So we'll get a, a knife to get that out. Not sure where that came from. Um, and then we're gonna definitely go with the candy apple as well. Why does that look pink? Let me double check some colors here, just a moment. Metallic. This is definitely it. All right, we're gonna we're gonna do our two um, flowers at the same time here because I don't want to have the problem where we had a dry it got a little too dry to move before, um, and because that's a burgundy mix with a. A metallic mixed with a regular color. So the burgundy I made from Amsterdam's, so I took a, a red and a blue and combined those to make the burgundy, but then the copper obviously is a metallic. So that's what you're kind of seeing there on the canvas, if you can see that. We're gonna go ahead and put a little bit of that crimson red in there as well. Kind of highlight that. Um, we are gonna do some of this orange and I am going to do the brown also. I don't know if that's a right idea, um, but we're going to find out. Just wanted to go with something not blue and green. So this is the Color Art Golden Poppy. So we're definitely um, going to leverage that. I also want to make sure to put in that Pineapple Crush. So we'll be doing that here as well. And I do have a cell activator that is a gold. So um, we do want to add a green though. 
And we don't want the tropical green. I think we're gonna go with um, the iridescent yellow green. Find my sticks here. And I am gonna put a little bit of that on the bottom also. Okay, um, so we'll add the metallic brown near the bottom as well. Flipping sides on my stick here. Okay, so in my mind I was gonna use the golden, the gold um, cell activator. But as I'm thinking about this, I think we're gonna do two. So I think we're gonna um, use the gold cell activator in the top section. So we're gonna have it up here. And then we're gonna use um, the dark blue cell activator that we were using on the last one in the bottom of section. Hopefully I can move fast enough here now that I've got cell activator on there. We don't want it to sit. Never want it to sit because it'll sit in sync. Um, yeah, this is that. Same color that we've just used in the last one. Um, so let's get that laid on here. I think that might work better given the idea of the stem. All right, so we're gonna move forward with that. take the palette knife and bring this down again I think I've got one that's too long and skinny but let's let's see we'll take it from this direction very lightly not that lightly I want to pick it up that Payne's gray. There, that's better. Nice. All right. Boy, that crimson red is just beautiful in there. I'm gonna come from here. Well, that, that 
got a little crazy. For this one, it needs to kind of come up a little bit. You guys need to move. You're in the way. I'm super curious how this would dry. Because obviously the panes are going to dry significantly darker. So I don't know if this is just going to be dark, like across the board. Just trying to get some movement there. And we are back with the dried results. My goodness, I think this is just very, very intriguing. Um, kind of like blooms of flame. Um, I don't know if you can see or not, but that metallic in the gold is just very, very shiny. We'll bring you in here closely for some of this interactions that we've got. Really like that bloom in particular. I think that red center is just super pretty. Um, the gold on the stem, I think it works. Overall, a good piece. Thanks for stopping by. Find your bliss.